I actually had no interest in homeopathy at all. I'm not sure I'd ever heard of it. I was just a rugby playing cow vet on the edge of Exmoor. And uh, I had suffered all my life from hay fever. And it was a sort of hay fever where your eyes were so itchy, you just want to claw them out. And I was taking antihistamines for that for years and years and years. And I went camping in June and I forgot to take my antihistamines. And I was in a horrible mess. And maybe the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me in my life, five tenths away, there was a woman who was a homeopath. So I was encouraged to go up to see her. And she asked me for about 20 minutes, totally irrelevant questions that as far as I could understand had nothing to do with hay fever. And at the end of that time, she gave me one pill. And I said, okay, thank you. Um, how many do I take a day? How many days do I take them for? And she said, no, no, you just take the one pill. And I think I was a bit arrogant, or she told me I was afterwards. Because I insisted I had to have more pills than that. She said, just take the one. You might be an expert vet, but I'm an expert homeopath. So I took the pill. It was called Euphrasia. And to my astonishment, after an hour, my hay fever was 90% better. And in fact, from that day in 1995, I have not taken another antihistamine. Now, for me, this was impossible. This went against everything that I'd been taught at Cambridge for six years. I couldn't understand how this could happen, but it had happened. And so I had to explore this. I had to go and find out how this worked. And now I have a homeopathy only practice. And the only thing I do is give nutritional advice and give homeopathy. I continue to use homeopathy for three reasons, really. One is because I absolutely love it. It's taught me so many things I've never learned anywhere else. I'm not just reading veterinary manuals. I'm reading philosophy. I'm reading quantum physics. And particularly, I'm reading about nature in the natural world because that's where all the remedies come from. And to really understand the remedy, you need to understand its position and how it functions in the natural world. And this has reconnected me to my earliest love because the reason I became a vet is I decided when I was four because of a love of nature and a love of animals. And that sort of got lost in the, in the, in the teaching and the studying and the learning you have to do to become a vet. I also keep doing it because it's, it's very important because it works, but it works by a way that we don't as yet understand. There's many theories, but we don't understand how it works. But it's a deep and it's a powerful mechanism of healing. And finally, I keep doing it because of the patients. To be able to treat an unhappy dog or a depressed horse or an aggressive cow with maybe an unpleasant physical ailment, and you give it something, and over the period of days to weeks to maybe to a month, you see it get better. There's no better... There's nothing I'd rather do.